race over there, which many of you probably hate. Anyway, I'm going to read those now. Get comfortable in the sun and the grass. Eat some Chick-fil-A. Uh, our wonderful judges, Jeff Cherico, investigative reporter for CBS Atlanta News. If he's at your house, that's a problem. And then Judge Toby Rogers, if you're in his courtroom, <laughs> that's probably also a problem. If you end up at my house, it's probably a good thing. I have a keg, beer. Just kidding. I don't. I don't have a house. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the costume contest, uh, we're going to go in the worst to first. And I guess worst isn't bad because there was a lot of people here. The number one for the costume contest for the third, which is the first one I'm reading, is uh, the Bedheads. You guys are third for the costume contest. Some of these comments, uh, you guys made us feel sleepy. Go back to bed. Excellent and terrific. Jeff, what did you say about them? You didn't say anything. They were wonderful. They were wonderful. Second for the costume contest, the stunt doubles. Very well done. Very well done. You guys were daring, fun, and adventurous. Jeff, I think, said that it, you reminded him of The Simpsons when Bart tried to jump the gorge. <laughs> and number one, you guys can come up and claim your prize. Off like a prom dress. I will not make any comments after that. Great costumes. The masks were awesome. And you guys really needed a prettier prom girl. Not that you don't have great muscles. <laughs> Wonderful. Give them a round of applause. These guys they did a great job. Okay. I can get my paperwork in order. This is why I don't anchor. Prompter problem. That was a bad joke. Toby, are yours in order for the uh, costume contest? No, I just did that. The bed contest. Do I have the bed? Toby. <laughs> cool. Okay, for the uh, bed decoration contest, the stunt doubles came in third. We liked the bike, we liked all the stuff. You guys did a great job on that as well. Second, we have uh, the Atlanta Community Tool Bank. Hold on, you guys might be very angry. Well, maybe some of you. Mine are in the right order, Judge. Sorry, the judge misplaced some of his. Hold on, we need a judge's ruling. <laughs> we all have college degrees, if you can believe it. Uh, so the stunt doubles were third. Second is the Atlanta Community Tool Bank. You guys did great. Uh, I think Jeffrey said that the shovel scared him. He's glad that he didn't race with that on there. And uh, the number one is the Atlanta Furniture Bank Rocks. We, we didn't really understand what it was, so we voted for it to be the best. You guys can come up and claim your prize. It's awesome. You guys rocked. We're supposed to be occupied. Occupied? Occupied Occupy bed race? Yes. <laughs> you guys did great. I'll say it again. I didn't give you the right props, did I? That's my bad. All right. And the final results for the 2011 Mattress 500 team. Uh, number four, off like a prom dress. Uh, number two, team KHI. Is that correct? Or Roman numeral I. The uh, Atlanta Community Tool Bank is third. And the Kalanji brothers were number one. You guys were great. You did a great job, and then of course it's Chick Fil A. And number one, the Kalanji brothers, come up and get your prize. Anyway. Let's do this, man. Let's get to stage, man. Let us have the stage. Thank you guys very much. Give them a round of applause for these guys. Risking life and limb on a mattress full of bed bugs.
And now we're going to introduce Megan to say some final thoughts. Thank you. I want to thank everyone um, for coming out today. This has been a great first bed race. We're super excited that you all came. Um, it's really important the Furniture Bank really needs all of your support. Um, every day we give free furniture to people that are either moving out of homelessness, living with HIV and AIDS, or fleeing domestic violence. So because of the Furniture Bank, they're able to have beds to sleep on, um, tables to share meals with their family. Um, so really you guys coming out here makes a big difference and really helps us help our clients. Um, I want to thank the committee members who made today all possible. I want to start with Courtney Hodges Lanius, who is right there. And she did an amazing job putting this all together. And Courtney works at the Furniture Bank, and nonprofits wouldn't exist if there weren't passionate people out there that were willing to give a ton of time. And we're really lucky to have Courtney. I'm very thankful that she's part of the Furniture Bank team. Um, the rest of the committee, if you could just raise your hand when I call your name. Amelia Bauer. Mary Beth Byram, who's also her birthday. Happy birthday, Mary Beth. Jocelyn Connell. Wayne, and I'm sorry, I'm going to say your last name wrong. Wayne Engelbretson? You got it. I did? Okay, there's Wayne. Tiffany Hickman. Linda House. Marty House and Molly Rogers King. So thank you again. We hope you'll stay involved at the Furniture Bank throughout the year. We have lots of fun ways to volunteer um, and to give back. So please keep in touch with us and we really appreciate you coming out. Thank you.